Hey guys, Dave Syverson here from Our Lad Scouting. Here we are taking on the running back top five as they currently stand. These are far from final. We still have a little ways to go, but pre-senior bowl week, this is where our top five running backs stack up right now. Trey Benson from Florida State starting it off. After two quiet years at Oregon, Benson transfers to Florida State, averages over six yards per carry without a single fumble while breaking tackles at a record rate with a blend of size, lower body strength, agility, and breakaway speed. At 215 pounds, Benson was tied for the most rushes where he reached over 21 miles per hour. So, so you're looking at a guy that is built out of granite from the waist on down, but he's got that tap dancer footwork. He also breaks tackles at a near record rate. 79 missed tackles forced and four and a half yards after contact per rush, but that was third among power five backs in 2022. Uh, he did share some carries back in 2023. We didn't see him take that big step up, but this is an NFL caliber back with a really good patience, vision, and then that breakaway speed to move the chains, but also break off those explosive runs. Aldrich Estime from Notre Dame is coming in at number two. He shows a feel for the creases while moving downhill. He's an enforcer that changes the personality of your backfield right away. He broke 64 tackles in 2023. He was third in, in the country in yards after contact per rush. First in the power five, by the way. And he's got sneaky breakaway speed and agility for a guy that's 225 pounds. Okay, so listen to this. He led the nation in carries over 15 yards among backs over 210 pounds. So this is another between the tackles bruiser, but if he sees that crease, he's gonna break away into the open field and create that blend of efficiency and explosion that everyone is looking for. The one question I have with him and Benson both, can they truly impact the passing game? Because you do need to pound the ball, especially come playoff time as the weather worsens, but you need to have a, somewhat of an impact if you're gonna be drafted early on that passing game uh, from that running back position. Coming at number three is Blake Corm from Michigan. The engine to the offense of the national championships gets more out of himself than the sum of the parts because of his on-field intelligence, his pure grit, and his willpower. Uh, he excels in gap schemes where he can pound the hole with late movement. 165 of his 258 carries were a gap design that was third most in the country. And some teams in the NFL, they really lean into that. Uh, he's got a nose for the end zone and the yardage marker. He led the country in rushing touchdowns each of the past two years. And that's even including the fact that he was uh, somewhat banged up towards the end of 2022 with a knee injury. The one question I have with him is, can he really truly handle an every down roll at the next level? He's had He only had 26 catches over his last 29 games, so it's left less than one catch per game. In the NFL, you, you need to offer a little bit more than that. He had three fumbles in 2023, and I am unsure if he can handle blocking duties because of his lack of arm length and uh, the fact that he's just so much smaller than a lot of these guys that he's going to be matched up against. You know, there were 263 players with over 60 carries in college football this past year. Corn ranked 241st in yards after contact per rush. He was 93rd in missed tackles for. So we're not talking about a guy that really breaks through a lot of contact at the college level. Uh, coming in at number four, Braylon Allen from Wisconsin. He's one of the youngest players in the draft. He finished with over 1,000 yards of total offense all three seasons at Wisconsin, and he brings a rare blend of size, power, and speed to the field that will immediately make him one of the biggest freaks in the NFL at the position. He is going to put on a show at the scouting combine. He's got a great feel for lanes and creases. The vast majority of his runs have come in a zone type scheme, which is what the NFL really leans into. I mean, everyone runs some sort of zone running game at some point. Some really lean into it. And I think those teams are really going to be going after Allen early, especially considering his youth. Uh, he's a chain mover. You know, the one question I have with him is, can he fix the fumble issues? He, he, he had one hit the turf every 66 carries on average. That's way too high. And that's something he's going to have to fix in the NFL because NFL NFL defenders will attack that football. Coming in at number five, Jonathan Brooks from Texas. After sitting behind future NFL backs, B. John Robinson and Roshan Johnson for two seasons, Brooks broke out with similar levels of production in 2023 as B. John did, a top 10 pick, by the way. The torn ACL at the end of the year is going to have to delay his contribution to the NFL. He'll probably start on the PUP list and then be able to contribute on the back half of his rookie year. 
Uh, but, I mean, the strengths to his game, you have to admire them. 63 missed tackles forced on just 187 carries. One every three carries is among the best in the country in that department. The question I have with him, besides the ACL and how fast he can recover from that and can he get back to his original form, there's just not a, a ton of tape. You know, he was a third string back for two years, so he's got only 238 career carries. You could look at that as a positive, but he's been asked to pass block about five times per game at the most. So he barely has any contribution to that side of the game. In the NFL, NFL backs, they need to know how to block. So that wraps up the R Lads current top five at the running back position. We still have a little ways to go, um, including uh, the, the meeting of the minds to really come up with our final board, but that's where they stand. Check out the rest of the article at rlads.com. Thank you guys.